Hey guys, what's up everyone? And welcome to Young Titan World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are doing good. Today, I want us to talk about one particular TV show. Now, the TV show that I'm about to call out is absolutely stunning. But, I would say that if it was produced in this time and era, we probably would have had it cancelled after the first episode. If you know what I'm talking about, give your hands up. I mean, what? Just give a round of applause for American Dad. That's right, today we're talking about American Dad. Now, American Dad has its ups and downs, and it has a lot of things that is, in fact, very impressive. There are not, there are not a lot of people that you can uh, pretty much call out to talk about this. Not because honestly, when when I the first time that I watched um, what's it called Family Guy, first time I ever watched Family Guy, I was like, "Wow, that's so bold! It must be the most racist, most fascist, most elegant piece of work ever." And then I realized after today that it had an elder brother, and by an elder brother. <laughs> I mean, American Dad. I don't know which one came out first, but I gotta say, on the levels of how they push the boundaries in terms of entertainment, they are probably on par. They're probably on the same level. I don't know. I wouldn't say, but I think American Dad, honestly, is a little more. It's a little more over the top than Family Guy, which is kind of. Which is kind of odd because when I try to remember a lot of the scenes from American, uh, from Family Guy, you realize that at uh, he's he's in this zone of constantly just ignoring his family and ignoring his duties, but he has a softer attention to it. But <laughs> American Dad is straight up oblivious, and he doesn't give a crap no matter what happens, even when it's happening right in front of his very eyes. That I don't give a fuckery is like on a whole new level. And it just makes me enjoy the show even more. Now, American Dad, um, if you don't know about it, uh, is just about this CIA agent who has a loving family and um, an alien he smuggled who is kind of like his best friend, but his also most hated person in the world and he also has a pet fish who has the brain of his arch nemesis <laughs> so it's like it's yeah it's it's pretty much a casual family that is having the time of their life and um they're just going through these episodes which each and every one of them having an issue to resolve uh the relationships between them are pretty much um let's see how simple can i point this out Dad hates daughter. Wife loves husband. Alien doesn't give a fuck and always drinks alcohol just to clear out the boredom that lodges in his mind. You know, because he can't get out and can't socialize. Um, Fish is horny for wife. Uh, (laughs) uh, Son has... uh, sexual urges towards sister but would not admit it till he was tricked into thinking that he was a stepbrother that he was adopted (sighs) uh let's see what what other relationship am i missing well mother loves son mother loves daughter Uh, wife loves son wife loves daughter just not in that bad way you know uh but yeah uh, that's that's pretty much a round off. Uh, but wait, yeah, fish hates husband. Yeah, fish hates husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's definitely what I was wanted to say. But anyways, um, American Dad really does push the boundaries. And as I was saying before, if it did come around this time, it probably wouldn't have had that better reception because the kind of jokes that it makes, the kind of boundaries that it pushes, is straight up. <laughs> It's, it's, it's straight up red notice kind of shit, man. It's like, it's definitely on a whole new level of bad. But I enjoy it really much because it kind of gives you the bare truth. 
it doesn't really hide the fact it doesn't hide the racism it doesn't hide um the sarcasm it doesn't hide how much sometimes people can be so dumb it doesn't also hide the fact that society is fucked up and no matter how much sugar coating you put on it it still remains that way i think one particular episode stuck out for me and that was when uh that was when they were sent to saudi arabia now we all know saudi arabia has its um perks you know it has its stuff the fact about women and how it's a really serious issue that everyone cannot stop hearing about and we also know about their rules and their laws and they were basically just pointing all of that in broad daylight no shame no nothing no whatsoever but after that they didn't really single themselves out of the equation yes maybe they the problems that they stated towards themselves were not necessarily a whole page full but you know you can actually acknowledge how much um there is error in everyone no one's perfect i guess that's the same with countries and whatnot but yeah i i would rather they be just this open with the sort of racism instead of pretending that everything is all right or making actors pretend that they're having the time of their life when their race and the people that they are is completely um a barrier and it's a complete problem that no one wants to address because everyone is pretending that it's all right you know oh so i would say between family guy and american dad I'd have to give the props to the props to American Dad because American Dad is straight up vulgar, but I love it. It's straight up vulgar, but I love it. I love I, I love it for all that it stands for. And that's crazy too. So anyways, uh, so much for thinking that I, I could finish Family Guy though. You know, <laughs> between the two of them, I don't know which one has the more seasons. Uh, but yeah, I'm not even done with Family Guy and I have the audacity to go continue my journey with freaking American Dad, which is completely fucked. I, I don't know, but maybe if I'm focused enough, I can finish up American Dad and then we can just like hightail it back to uh, Family Guy and see where we left up. Hopefully it's not too late for us. It's not the end of the world. And we can completely figure out what's the next step as it comes to these animations that are complete, complete and utter chaos for the communities or the societies of today. But yeah, I, I mean, this is not the kind of animation that you would want your children to watch. But it's definitely the one that has this sort of educative but also raw and rude form of disposition that 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 totally objectifies women that totally makes it's like you can just expose everyone's demons in that light because everyone is bad but they're just that good at hiding it you know that's just how fucked up this is this, that's how fucked up the whole thing is but yeah i'm gonna have to stop right here hope you guys have a fantastic day hope you guys take care of yourself until next time young titan out thank you for listening bye